Well, new controversy surrounding the death of Sean Suter. The detective was killed on duty two years ago, and now the police commissioner, well, refuses to commit to releasing a state police review of this investigation. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen is live at City Police Headquarters tonight with more. Mike. Rick, the Souter family had been critical of that state police report because it didn't look at any new evidence. Still, they'd like to see it. The commissioner today did not say if or when that would happen. In his first public comment since the second anniversary of Baltimore Detective Sean Souter's death, Police Commissioner Michael Harrison would not commit to publicly releasing a Maryland State Police review of the investigation. The tasks that are still out to be completed when they are completed, uh, and the state's attorney and I are satisfied that they are all completed. We'll turn that over to the, the medical examiner who will make a final determination. State police affirmed the findings of an independent review board commissioned by the police department that Detective Souter killed himself while on duty in West Baltimore. Earlier this month, Commissioner Harrison declared the case closed, only to later backtrack and say the case was open. Here are his latest comments. You know, it's not technically ever closed until this coroner or the medical examiner actually rules. And so, you know, that's been said multiple times. The medical examiner currently lists Souter's death as a homicide. Souter's family has criticized the Maryland State Police Review for not considering any new evidence. We want justice! They rallied in front of City Hall last Friday. Justice! If they're trying to cover something up, they're going to cover it up. Clear. It's a cover up. Clear. Detective Souter's loved ones maintain he was murdered. You know, it's just not closed. Like, we haven't even been hurt yet. Like, it can't be closed because y'all not with suicide. Souter was killed with his own service weapon the day before his grand jury testimony in a police corruption case. Live at 7 at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ.